Oh snap, what's going on out there YouTube? It's SEL0320, got these dope guys behind me, Big Gold Bell, Drills Alexandria. We're here to talk to you guys about the Sony? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Sony panel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We talked about Venom already, but we yeah. didn't talk about Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse um, and kind of what that entails. But if you don't want to know, then turn this away <laughs> and wait till them to actually create a trailer because what we saw it's unfinished footage, but a really good um, perspective on where this movie is gonna go. Wait. Um, so. Damn it, should I? What? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live stream this. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but, um. You wanna live stream it? Yeah. Because <laughs> we, can't, we can't put any images, they'll get yanked. We can't put any footage or, or audio, because they'll get yanked. But, anywho. Um, as far as uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, one thing that they, they said off the gate was that this is its own condensed universe. And the Spider-Man of Miles' universe has already died. And a lot of us, we thought that, that was going to be the reality. But when you see how it actually plays out, like him at the gravesite and him being there and him like kind of trying to figure out how do I become Spider-Man? How do I take up the mantle? just to see Peter Parker from a different universe mm. come into the fold. Um, I thought that was really well done. What did y'all think about the trailer though, as far as the visuals and then just how they kind of set it up? I'm gonna let you go first. Um, yeah, it was interesting that Sony <coughs> this year um, was gonna have the focal point. Um, they did, wasn't gonna have to rival Marvel, which is the juggernaut, obviously, pun, in, pun intended. Um, but, uh, they came with unfinished footage, and it. I had my reserves when they said it because I'm thinking to myself like, um, you know, this is the opportunity to shine. But for what we saw, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> they didn't lie. They said it was going to feel like a comic book, and it did. And yeah. the effects was amazing, um, and the progression <laughs> of the trailer, uh, which whenever it is released and finished. Um, it felt more and more of of, um, of an animated movie that uh, that I would have never thought we would have seen on a superhero movie. Seriously, yeah, it's um, it's it's weird. Like the very very first teaser, whatever that was, I was I kind of had like a lukewarm feeling to it, but uh, I had posted a, on my Twitter like a piece of concept art from this film. And it was like him fighting like this huge, giant Godzilla-sized uh, uh, green goblin. green goblin. You know? mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, I really love the style. And the more research I did after that, I was like, yo, I'm loving the, the style of the animation. It's really, really different, <clears throat> very distinctive. Um, and uh, yeah, like a living graphic novel in a way. It's super yeah. weird. Yeah. I really like it. And even though the f the, the footage that they showed um, so even though some of it was unfinished I was just blown by yeah. it to be honest with you I was like wow and when, when does it come out again? Um, is it September? does anybody know? I, I actually don't know, don't know actually. <laughs> back. when does this movie go? I didn't um, see this movie oh, it comes out December December the 14th is when the last damn year really I can't wait till December to see this damn movie? yeah but, no, but December Star Wars, am I not mis Oh, this year, I'm tripping. It's this year. Yeah, uh, that and Bumblebee, it's gonna, it's gonna be a, some wrecking matter, going on. Matter of fact, Aquaman is in December as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. But um, the reality is, this is also coming from the comic book, um, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Spider-Verse. And with that, it, it breaks this mold of all these different kind of spider, men and women, got Gwen Stacy who is Spider Gwen which was actually played by um, Haley Seinfeld uh, if you ever seen True Grit um, she also is in the Bumblebee movie she plays see that was an interesting scene with her because we didn't know Gwen Stacy uh, Miles was really trying to kind of like understand his powers and he got stuck to this girl's hair and we're like <laughs> he gets decked but then her hair gets pulled out yeah. And then he's just like Yeah, that scene where Miles got his, his hand stuck to her hair was kind of just crazy. I, I thought it was really well choreographed and I just love the animation style. Like it's 
it's very immersive. But then the, even the beginning, like it had like these little bubbles because he's like, am I talking to myself? Like, what is what is this? And so it's really meta in so many different standpoints. But a big part of, like I said, the Spider-Verse is all these other Spider-Man and women. Like I said, you got Gwen Stacy, but you also got Spider-Man Noir. You got Spider-Pig, which they introduced that. I was really oh, yeah. taken back by that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know who... Um, the Japanese girl is it's got the Spider-Man mech that was freaking dope um, Yeah, but yeah Nicolas Cage is playing Spider-Man Noir by the way if y'all didn't know um, And yeah. his introduction was really cool. Yeah, everything they did with um, What should I call it? Peter Parker I thought was uh, surprisingly deep and really interesting like that's yeah. what sort of got me engaged into the, the, the narrative yeah. That they got going on. Yeah, I almost sure. forgot that we actually had to talk about the trailer. I was just thinking about how I felt about it. But the character <laughs> the characters in the all the Spider Man's is it's it's um it's 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 different and I like it. Um I have to I have to honestly say that um the first thing about when I when I knew this movie was happening was what 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 is this? We we, yeah. we know about Marvel having a properties to Spider Man, and then mm -hmm. the first Spider Man Marvel movie was Spider Man Homecoming, mm -hmm. synonymous with where you belong, Homecoming, coming mm -hmm. back, you know. Mm -hmm. So when this came about, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, mm -hmm. I was like, is this some type of like kicking the legs under the seat? Like, are they saying like, you know, they're creating their own version of Spider Man over here as well? Mm -hmm. So much, yeah. when I started noticing that this this had to do with the different. Um, rea not realities, the different. Uh, oh, um, what, what, what do you call it? Realities? Were, uh, realities uh, this is kind of like a multiverse kind of situation. The different universes that people are coming from. That's sure, what I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah, yeah. That that's actually what they're going after. So when mm -hmm. you've seen the collaboration Yo. of all the different Spider Mans on there. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, Yo. yeah it was, it, the. the <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't think that they're going to release this footage because it was how much how long do you think the footage was four four minutes four minutes, four minutes and five. it was like some distinctive scenes that they did because they showed like wilson fix for a while um they didn't show any new footage of like the prowl or anything like that it was just so am i tripping or did they show uh snippets of him actually fighting like a giant exaggerated um Green Goblin. Yeah, I mean that's part of the comic. Okay, okay. like that's legit in the comic. I was like, yeah, I, I, I could have sworn I saw like a little, some little snippets in there. I, th I think the thing about this is that if Sony plays their cards right, they could add any incarnation of Spider-Man into this movie they want to. Imagine yeah. if they brought like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man or like the yeah. Andrew Garfield Spider-Man yeah, and the Tom was, Holland Spider-Man. That would be completely insane. Like, um. I would geek out, like, legit. Also, real quick, uh, another thing that really got me really, um, I could feel myself eventually become invested in the, the whole narrative. One of the reasons why is that, uh, like, uh, I don't know, the Peter Parker stuff was, oh, oh, the gravesite, when, um, Miles was going to, he's at the cemetery, to go to the gravesite of Peter Parker, uh, that actually kind of sent chills. I was like, oh, shit! Like, hmm. they know what they're doing. Whoever's in charge of the story, I think they know what they're doing. Or it feels like it, anyways. Uh, I can't say that I know, <laughs> but it feels like it. So another thing they alluded to is um, Miles Morales and uh, Gwen Stacy's relationship. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> in yeah. recent comics, there was, I don't know how, to, I don't want to spoil it. There's something to do about their future that is very intertwined. Mm -hmm. um, as well as like an emotional relationship kind of connection. They kind of alluded to that with the banter between uh, Hailey and the guy that plays Miles Morales from Dope. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that'll be interesting as they start going that route with it. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I just, I'm really taking it back because now there's so many different ways that they can spin this into its own franchise. Because yeah, yeah. they don't have to just make one film. They can make multiple um, do you think that um, there's things in an animated film that cannot be done visually in a live action film? I think it's the opposite. I think the animation has more realms of doing whatever they want mm -hmm. versus 
the live action that you got pitches, you got copyright stuff, and then you got like this huge budget you got to worry about the VFX. Mm -hmm. Whereas something like this, like if you have a good enough animation team and you have time, mm -hmm. there's anything you can do. That's one of the reasons why, like looking at the death of Superman, like I mean, if that's to me not like a great mm -hmm. example of it, like they had the 1993 version to a T. But yet they added so much impact on an emotional and action level that I don't think they could have gotten away with that in the film. I think that something would have kind of limited them, whether it be studios, whether it be something else. Like, I feel like they can really go there. Yeah, that one I'm still... It's, it's, tricky, it's tricky for me to answer. Because, like, uh, like, one example, like uh, Infinity War, um, there are so many uh, aspects to Avengers Infinity War uh, visually that, like, I was just like, Jesus Christ, I didn't even know we were there yet <laughs> with technology, you know? It's like, wow, they're really pushing hard, you know? This is, uh, I don't know if I've said this, on, like, in a video, but Infinity War, at least for me personally, my opinion, anyway, it's the first film where I was like, geez, like, they, man... It's almost like live action could get to a point where it gets to the same level of complexity as the most complex uh, animated film visually. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you what do you think about that? Um, I think that uh, Sony. I think what I got from Sony today is that Sony is willing to gamble on itself mm. in strategy. To still be successful, and they're, and they're trying to be player, they're trying to be players in the game. Um, they spoke a lot about wanting to do their own thing and, and expanding the universe, but they also set back to say that, but we are also open for you know the deal that's on the table, um, for them to be able to capture stuff with that. What's interesting here with Spider Into the Spider Verse is that, like Sam said, with it being animation, the sky is the limit. Um, casting. For sure, uh, won't be as difficult as is is you know live action. Definitely not. Um, but um, but a quick question I wanted to uh, throw out at you so with that comment mm -hmm. was um would you have preferred this movie knowing what you know now but haven't seen live adaptations of Spider Man um, numerous times now? Sure. Would you have liked to have seen this been live action over animation? So initially for me. So you said like. The, the same concept, just live action. Okay, so the exact same like visual. Um, I mean, you can't duplicate that, but well, I mean, with the same premise. Well, I mean, we that's kind of like my question, though. You well, know, because what we got here is obviously we have Miles Morales, mm -hmm. um, and you know, that's that's that. But the fact that we we're, we're talking about um, different Spider Mans collaborating, coming together from different universes as one team, so to say, to take on you know, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. um, and considering that each Spider-Man has their very own distinct characteristics to them, um, from cloaking to sure. map tech. <laughs> yeah, um, it was um, nuts. Yeah, a pig, so you're going to have <laughs> height differences. Would yeah. you have wanted this to have still been animated over live action? So I don't know. I would have to sit on that one, potentially, because, I mean, in animated form, it's, it's, it's almost like unusual how expressive the film is uh narratively and visually you know it's just like holy shit they're achieving things that uh we still haven't achieved cinematically <laughs> in my opinion you know in certain shots you know um but i don't know I, maybe animated i don't know i mean i think that for me when i saw spider-man homecoming um one of the things that I didn't like about Homecoming was the fact of them pulling characters that were taken from Miles Morales' ultimate universe. Like, I guess Ned and Genki, they mm -hmm. fuse the same exact characters together. The way that they kind of just don't use like some of the pivotal characters from Peter Parker's world. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like taken aback, but then they did do like uh, the Childish Gambino's um, Aaron Davis that alludes that he's supposed to be a prowler, but even though that gave me had nothing about that scene with him made me believe that he had that expertise or that ability, mm -hmm. um, but it did lead the foundation that there is a Miles Morales in existence within the universe. But looking at this specific trailer and that really solidified this is a multiverse 
if they create a Spider Verse within the confounds of the Marvel slash Sony universe, mm. then we could still this could still happen. It's not even like a possibility. It could easily happen. I think that what they're doing is Marvel is letting Sony do this, and they're gonna be like, all right, let's see how this really works. Let's see how this is either it succeeds or not. And if it succeeds, I can tell you that within the next by the third Spider-Man movie that's a collaboration between Sony and Marvel, they're going to go into like a Spider-Verse. They're going to go into seeing how we're going to pull these different niches like this sure. and maybe adding in Miles Morales. So that because I don't see them aging Tom Holland all the way out and then giving us a Miles Morales. I could see them having like a Spider-Verse live action and then like okay, on this universe, Spider-Man's dead. The only person that's there is this other Spider-Man in Miles Morales. And I think that that would be a quick way of getting him in mm -hmm. um, and allowing him to his character to just kind of progress versus having to wait 10 years for Tom Holland to get older or, or them to go and do something totally different. So I think that this is going to be the precursor to that. I think that they did that with, what was that animated film? The Ultimate Avengers. The Ultimate Avengers cartoon. When that joint came out, we sat there and saw the Hulk literally almost chop like Thor's head off with his own hammer and like go eight nuts on the Avengers. Mm -hmm. That set to me this like perception in my head like man I love to see this live action and then we got the Avengers which came off of that same exact theme so I think that this could easily be the same exact thing for whatever Marvel and Sony do with Spider-Man absolutely. I, yeah. I, I think that um, I think to, to your point I think that Marvel being um, the juggernaut again as they are, mm -hmm. that they sprinkled enough seeds all over the place with Sony and the deal, uh, which they etched out a few years ago easily, and um, now with uh, the Fox deal, that um, there's there's enough smart, creative people around the table for them to always think about the next possibility, mm -hmm. and I think that them doing this as an animated feel and talking about different universes is a safe story that works comic is is comic book pol politically correct mm -hmm. that the fact that they can do this and it doesn't jeopardize anything they do in the future yeah. so that homecoming which you know for whatever you want to mark as success it happened mm -hmm. yeah it sprinkled ideas about miles morales the fact that we get it because that, that's obviously not going to be in the next Homecoming movie. Mm -hmm. But if they decided to do it three or four movies down the line, that there was a presence um, in the first Homecoming. And then you're looking at Into the Spider-Verse, which is telling you that this is going to be their own thing. The yeah. idea of the collaborations of why different Spider-Mans come from different places and all that stuff. They, they're building the idea there. And then that can go as far as they, it was what they want. Yeah. That it's just... It's just Nothing they're doing is going to be conflict to each other, and then, and then I'm not sure what you're covering in Venom, but in the in the press panel for Venom, they said too. They said, "Look, hey, we would love to do something with with Marvel Spider Man. We yep. want that. If your fans want that, then y'all let them know." Tom Holland said he's for it. He did. Tom Henderson said he's for it. For sure. You know, and he's a spoiling guy, so you know, whenever that comes about, we're going to know for some his. His Instagram account, uh, but no one sitting around the table with their arms crossed saying, I don't want to do business. Everyone is looking around saying the possibilities are there. Yeah, We're going to work on our many projects and whatever it may be, but at, down the line, mm. the bigger idea is always to get everything all together. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm very I'm very happy with Into the Spider-Verse because <laughs> it's a different approach. It's refreshing mm -hmm. the effects, even though half of it wasn't completed. They were yeah, very, very done. easy on the eyes, yeah. but very good. I mean, I I almost wanted to say this, but I know this might have been a super reach, but you guys can tell me what you think. Sure. I thought I was watching a Disney Pixar movie. <laughs> That's how good the animation was. It was it, very good. It, it's, it's this bridge between 3D at times. It feels like you're watching, and I mean, I think even the first trailer kind of showed like certain symbols like the action scenes look like it's coming at you. Yeah. Oh, like, like it, a like it blend kind of, between, uh, uh, like you're watching 2D, but it feels like you're watching 3D. Yeah, okay. this this one was a lot more refined than the first trailer for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's just like it seems seamless. It literally yeah. looks like I'm 
have a comic that's coming yeah. to life. And I think that this is one of the best representations I think I've ever seen. Um, and I, I agree. I think it was on that kind of Pixar level, or it has the potential to be at least it's, it's, uh, moving forward. Yeah, I th- just to, to answer the question, I think that I would... I personally would want a live action version of the exact thing that we saw footage for just because at least for me ultimately I like a more tactile feel to to the filmmaking you know yeah I, I like it to be you know like how real can we get that's why I loved if any war so much because there's so many there's so many goddamn shots of Thanos that are literally photorealistic yeah, literally, absolutely. And I'll challenge anybody with screenshots, but um, <laughs> all day. <laughs> Wait till that Blu-ray comes out, boy. Challenge anybody. But anyway, um, yeah, that's my my take on that. Though I think I would prefer a live action version. However, uh, at the current time, we are still very limited with live action. So, uh, I mean, it's quickly changing, but yeah, it's it's definitely. I guess what I'm saying is, it's definitely better that they're taking the animated route with these kinds of visual styles that they're going with. So. I, I want to say this, and you guys can correct me if you feel different, obviously, or you just think I'm just flat out wrong. Sure. <laughs> but I think that uh, I think that Sony isn't aiming in a direction where they're going to be limited by um, by I want to, I guess I'll say character accessibility or availability sure. mm-hmm. uh, because of property rights. Yeah. Yeah. I think that they're aiming in a, in a safe manner again that they're going to tackle whatever storylines, whatever comic book adaptation that deals with the Spider-Man property and Venom at that that you're not going to notice this weird sense of like we're Spider-Man and Venom or into the Spider-Verse like well can we use some of these characters you know some of that I think that they're going after the idea of saying like we're we're putting all the cards on the table and we're yeah. just going to see which ones actually cashes in yeah, yeah. no I so. actually I'm going to agree with you to a fault um, I think that the proof is going to be in the pudding when it comes to Venom and of course into the Spider-Verse when they actually do come out and we get to see um, how they do level out because the reality is that Into Spider Verse features Peter Parker. Like I was sitting there thinking, you know, like Into Spider Verse is gonna just be Miles' story, but no, Spider Man yeah. is in it. You know, yeah. even though technically he's with Marvel, and yeah. it, it shows that that relationship with Marvel and Sony is very much so constructed in a specific way. Yeah. And I think that with both of these films, if they end the way that I think they are, uh-huh. that moving forward they're going to be able to explore a lot more with spider-man with this universe i don't think they should label it a Ven- venom verse um quote unquote i think that it's still very much so going to be spider-man owned sure. um i think they it kinda... might be, I, I think it might be fair to say like it there could be like a venom verse happening i, I, I think I, it might be fair i don't think so because no? i think they i think they directly hinted that not to be limited to like that's what I'm saying. They 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 made it very clear. I mean, the questions was asked. I mean, oh well, you're Spider-Man. saying in terms of like they want to expand and like throw in Tom Holland and throw well, in well, and well, whatever just, it is, just Spider Man no in general. Yeah, yeah. no one's walking sure. on eggshells about saying, "Hey, can Spider Man be in this movie?" They're exactly. Saying, and sure. I think I think we're going to get to the point now. Even and I know just we're talking about Spider Man, but to jump over to Marvel Studios, mm-hmm. we're going to get over to the point now where they have conferences and stuff and people are going to say well what about mutants and they're going to say yeah we'll, we'll, we'll like to work with mutants but five years ago that sure. was the most forbidden word to ever like, say the no you yeah, can't true. say that <laughs> true, true, true. but now yeah. it's just like yeah. you know we, we, we people have this idea that um, because Spider-Man is with Marvel now that now Spider-Man does not exist here yeah. sure well they're saying no it, he does and by the way mm-hmm. Peter Parker if that's what you want to even decipher that they would two different characters or two different property rights mm. no he's over there and, exactly and and i think i think it's genius yeah, for the right. venom trail the venom uh movie to not directly say spider-man may be in it <laughs> that's him yeah. yeah but could be in it and could you mm. imagine the popping the conspiracy theories of twitter that's, that's saying, what I'm saying oh my god there was spider-man and venom <sighs> let me that's, tell you something if that's a great film if it's a great film yo 
that's and see I don't even think it's got to be a great film I think that if think that it if it ends mm. connected with Spider-Man yeah. in no, any capacity be... whatsoever mm. that <laughs> no it, can't, it cannot it cannot just be good like Justice I, League I, it has to be great no Justice is not good I think, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it needs to come up to bat and get the first base I think that's important and, that's the, what I'm saying. and yeah. I think too the other thing we need to talk about something we talked about uh few years ago is that Spider-Man, we broke the name up so many times is because it's by no mistake we're not Spider-Man, Spider-Man fanboys Spider-Man is such a big property mm-hmm. that Marvel said oh by the way we need to redo half of Civil War because we need to throw him in there for marketing because he's just that important to us right now because mm-hmm. they could have they left him out for his roles that he had but nonetheless he was such a he's such a pivotal and marketing character that why wouldn't Venom want to make sure that Spider-Man has a presence in in in, in it? Mm. And then why not again leave the cards on the table for the possibilities for you know intertwining whatever the grand sure. scheme of things may be? So like no one's exiling Spider-Man or Peter Parker sure. in into the Spider Verse or into Venom. Sure, I think we learned today that um, the sky's the limit right now for Sony, and Big time. and if, and and no matter what they're able to accomplish. That they're going, that there's no constraints on how far they will go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I think um, I I do want to say too. I feel like they do want to make, um, at the very least, a couple more like heavy Venom centric films. Not so much, you know, Venom and Friends, the movie type of thing. You know what I mean? Like how BVS uh, should have just been about Batman or Superman, but it really was James. like Batman, Superman, and you know, James Maxwell. Sprinkles of uh, McAvoy. You forgot about McAvoy. Oh, and the, and the Sam's and the tweet? multitasking. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, uh, I was McAvoy. like, what are you talking wait, about? Wait, James McAvoy has Twitter. What? I'm about to follow this? I think fucking... he does. Does he? I mean, if... he doesn't seem like the type of person. He would definitely have, but... does seem like the type of person. Anyway, anyway. Does it? <laughs> anyway, because I know Sam hate when we go from tangents. Oh yeah, yeah into yeah. the Spider Verse. My, sure. my 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 last remarks on it is that we did get to see exclusive footage that wasn't done. Um, and and you bring up a good point earlier is that from the original um, uh, uh, teaser mm-hmm. that we did see a progression in, an, in, in in animation in the first half of what we saw today where it did look and feel absolutely better and then the rest of the road yep. that needed to be complete it wasn't like it was a strict decline it still felt it still felt really heartfelt in that um, it's good to see Sony bring that energy back up to the table because um, yeah. they, they <laughs> let's be honest, they haven't been good in the last few years. Yeah. And I think this gives a new tone, a new feel, <laughs> a new vibe that I think fans are going to be intrigued with. Don't, don't be reserved because this is animation and you've been so spoiled with live action this and True. big yeah. name cast and this. There are True. big names in this movie a lot of people who want to see this succeed revolved around it, and I think that you're going to enjoy. I, another thing is that, uh, yeah, I really got, I have a real massive respect for what they're doing visually, because I think that's, it, that it's so unique that people are gonna, it's like they won't be able to help themselves, but be curious and want to okay. check it out. And, and definitely like the deep fans, you know, like when people are freaking out about the, the little pig in the spider suit, um, you know, those fans are gonna, you know, Got that nerve sweat going hard. Yeah, I think, hey, and I, I just, I'm, I'm sorry, I may cut you off. No, but, no, no. but I think too, um, Sony's has been learning. Spider Pig is going to be baby group. Yeah. Galore for merch. Yeah. It's going to be everywhere. Yeah. And that is going to bring in because people love toys. We know that a lot this week. Yeah. <laughs> from Kaba Kaba. But Spider Pig is going to be such a. It's going to be such a marketing tool. It's going to bring in the, the uncasual fans over because of that. People want to see. Some people want to see Guardians just because of group. And I think that is something Sony has never done. They looked yeah. at a character and said, hey, "We need, we need one of those type of characters." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah, and uh, definitely because it's animated. There's so many ways that they can flex, perhaps more complexly, like 
visually uh, in, in animated form than versus like a live action form, at least currently, possibly. Um, yeah, there were, there were so many shots in the, the footage that we saw where I was just literally was blown away, you know? Because it's so, I guess, represented the essence of the comic book so well, you know? I was like, damn, this is Spider-Man for real. It just really feels like Miles, you know? Yeah, I think um, my closing thoughts are just that between Venom and um, Into the Spider-Verse, what Sony was able to do was allow us to take a step back and be like, this might be worth watching. This actually might be something that I'm interested in, whereas before, I'm kind of reserved, like, this is a great concept, but you failed me before. Mm -hmm. This was a great property that you let me down with, but now it looks like this is something that might interest me and might pique me, and I think that... Can you go to my Twitter really quick and find that uh, Spider-Verse concept art of... Well, I suppose you could Google it as well, but it's a concept art of uh, from the, the movie we're talking about. Super dumb. But, but, but just based on the fact of what they were wanting to do, which is try to get people established in that we have something, we want you to be interested, and you can go and watch this film, and this is going to be an interesting franchise moving forward. I think they succeeded in that. Um, and I didn't think, I actually didn't think when it came to Venom that they'd be able to. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they had way more ability when it came to Into Spider-Verse, but if this weekend didn't tell me nothing, Sony is understanding they need to modify what they need to do to reach the demographic of people. Now, they could end up failing, but um, if not anything, they've enticed people. And I think that's one of the most interesting things. But the weird thing is we only saw the, the footage. You right. guys haven't seen anything. <laughs> We're the ones letting you know what it made us feel. So yeah. I can tell you I am enticed. I think that it's something that you're going to like and you're gonna potentially be excited about so yeah check I don't it out. understand I would love to hear you guys give it like you know on a 10 scale because uh, I, flat out I think I might have to legit just give it a 10 out of 10 for the footage despite having unfinished whatever yeah. because the intention um, and still even the execution of what was happening in the unfinished footage was incredible yeah. It totally blew me out. I was like, wait, what? Like, what Spider-Man fan is going to watch this and be like, yeah, that was trash? Yeah. But I, your thoughts on the scale of 1 to 10? I'm not really a 1 to 10 guy. I no? Think, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm more of a, a sense of comfort with this. And I think that, um, again, we've been, we've been spoiled with live action stuff that I know that the people who are used to seeing the same thing over and over and all of us just find something to complain about regardless is that... Um, from what I've seen today, there's a, there's a sense of confidence that the finishing product is going to be good. And I, I, I'm surprised none of us have even mentioned this yet. But I mean, the fact that this potentially may come out in 3D, mm. yeah, be, be, be ready for a ride. Because it, it feels like it in 2D. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, that's all I got, you guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed our dissection of Into the Spider-Verse. Talk to you guys a bit later on. We got, who oh, what? A lot of interesting things tomorrow. Oh, God. Um, for me specifically, um, TV Universe panel, Warner Brothers, those are the two biggest. Um, I know that the Deadpool uncut um, screening is going to be tomorrow night, in addition to a Deadpool panning panel. Um, but yeah, we're excited, and we got a lot more content coming you guys' way. Peace out. Yeah, a lot more coming.